Chef Bobby Flay, Bobby Flay, as my mom says, <laughs> just went on a very relaxing vacation to northern Italy, specifically northern Umbria, and he brought back some incredible recipes, which he's here to share with us. Good morning, Bobby. Good morning. Good morning. You also brought back some pictures. I want to. I want to see your vacation yes. pictures. Uh, I was very, very relaxed. We we rented a house in the in the hills of Umbria, and it was just amazing. And the and I, whenever I go to nice a place hat, like Bobby. whenever I go to a place, <laughs> my dad calls it that my Al Pacino hat. <laughs> whenever I go to uh, to a place to relax for a while, I always want to cook the food of the place. And so the thing that I learned about Umbria is it's really very meat oriented. Very mm -hmm. little fish, lots of pork, lots of wild boar. Um, and so we were eating a lot of wild boar salami and stuff like that, but also fennel, stone fruits, and fantastic things like honey. And you found that you could actually combine those things and Ex make something Exactly great. right. So we, what we did f first was we actually cooked some pork. And very, very simply, we had, some, we had an herb garden at, by the, in the house. Oh, so I perfect. used some rosemary and some salt and pepper and a little bit of oil. And this is a, a pork loin. So we, let's picture you. You were in what setting making this? What setting? Yeah. I was definitely in my hat. Okay. Sure. Oh, that killed it. But <laughs> <You're not kidding. laughs> sorry, but uh, you know, I was in, a, in this very old kitchen um, with a stove. Very, very simple kitchen. And, uh, and then I went outside. I got some charcoal. I lit the grill. Wow. Let the let the embers burn down. And I and I put the pork on the grill. Okay. So, so I was got cooking indoors and out. Rosemary, salt, and what's the liquid oil? Uh, olive just, oil. Just more olive oil. Olive oil. That's all. Okay. And we're gonna put this right on the grill. Okay, the herb side down, and we're gonna leave it alone. We're gonna okay. let it get nice and crusty on the outside Very for good. about five minutes, and then we'll come back to it and turn it. Okay. Down here we have some ricotta cheese. We were right outside this town called Toti, and I'd go, I would go to Toti every morning and buy lots of local ingredients and bring it back to the house and cook. The ricotta cheese there is fantastic. It's actually a byproduct of uh, the buffalo mozzarella that they mm. have there. And so I love the, the texture of ricotta cheese, and, and especially this time of the year, stone fruits are fantastic. Yeah. So what I do is I take some plums, or you could use peaches or nectarines or anything along those lines, and I just put the, the fruit into the ricotta cheese, and then I use some local honey. I love honey. Yeah, me too. And some local honey, and just put the honey over the, uh, the stone fruits and the ricotta, and then just to top it off, a little bit of cracked black pepper. And the best thing is we can get any of these ingredients here. Exactly right. I mean, that, that was the point of it. The thing that I realized there is that the simplest ingredients are the best. And you, you know, people yeah. talk about local ingredients. There's no better example than it. Than I got. I got to see. Dave intrigued me. I got to see how. Oh, it I know. Well, the textures are great. Mm, great combination. Okay. How do we know, real quick, yeah. I've wondered, a good plum, a good peach? Well, when you say good, first of all, you don't want it to be bruised, but also for, for ripeness, you want it to have some give to it when you okay. kind of hold on to it. Perfect. This is uh, not quite ripe enough, but oh, maybe one more day. And then all you right. use fruit in here as well? Okay. I used peaches here and I, and I made them agri-dolce style, sweet and sour. So what I did was I took some honey and some red wine vinegar, sort of a, a contrast to each other, and put them over the peaches and just let it cook a little while until it becomes like a syrup. And then the peaches take on the agri dolce flavor. Do you cook it on high heat or gradually? I, I cook it on high heat because I want the heat. peaches to cook quickly so that it glazes it. Otherwise, you're, you're going to lose the texture. And of the how peaches. long does it take for them to get kind of soft? This like takes that? like literally 10 minutes, oh, period. Oh, it's quick. Exactly right. Beautiful. And then also, fennel is a very big ingredient. Oh, look how pretty that looks. Right. What I did here was I braised the fennel and a little bit of white wine and uh, and, and I use some of the fronds which are basically the uh, it looks like dill but it's part of the fennel and you just kind of you throw it throw it in there and that's it now what I do here is I take I take some of the fennel right and then I take some of the agri dolce peaches and put the peaches over the fennel okay and then I take some of the pork line here's our pork that we cooked a little bit ahead of time and I just take some of the pork and a little bit of our ricotta cheese. And to me, this is like a really perfect meal. You know, I agree. hanging out in Umbria. By the way, in Umbria, it always tastes better. <laughs> and you have to have a delicious uh, bottle of wine to go along with it. Oh yeah, what do you suggest? You brought a Pinot Noir. I brought a Pinot, we, we drank white, we drank rosé, we drank red, we, we drank it all. You basically. drank a lot. Exactly. Mm. I was talking to Harry about it and he has, he's basically done the same trip. Exact same place. I know. Yeah. And, uh, Magical? Oh, yeah, we were re reliving our moments there. Yeah, sure. So good. Thank so you for good. reliving your recipes. Yeah, I, I, I like the It smells pictures. delicious. Beautiful. Though. Yeah, like and the hat. You can take the guy out of New York, but you can't take New York out of the guy <laughs> with that exactly. Al Pacino hat. Well, if you want to get Bobby's recipe, all you have to do is go to our website. We're putting them up on earlyshow.cbsnews.com. Hey, Bobby, do you do an Al Pacino imitation as well? No, I don't. Absolutely not. Right. We're doing, I, that uh, I can't do. We're going to do some French cooking tomorrow. We're going to be in Quebec City tomorrow oh, nice. morning. Oh, yeah. oh, oh nice, nice. We're going to be making crepes. Are you going? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> do you want a carpool? Sure, let's go. <laughs>